Relationships kill objections. I need you to get this, okay? When an objection comes out, it's because someone doesn't believe that you or your product is the way to go. Right before someone goes to say yes and goes to buy something, sometimes people overthink something and they're like, oh man, I've really wanted this, now I'm about to actually spend the money. And they're actually excited. It's not like they're nervous, like I don't know if I should do it. They're excited to do it, but the salesperson doesn't get that their job is to give them reasons and excuses why they should pass go and do it today. So you gotta make sure that the whole time you're selling them, the whole time that you're with them, the whole time that you're helping them, you gotta make sure they like you. Relationships kill objections. You gotta make sure they like you. You gotta make sure that you understand. There's gonna be a time coming up soon in which you're going to ask them to buy something. When you do go ask them to buy it, you need to make sure you deposit enough money into that account so when you go to withdraw money out of it, they'll give it to you. That's what you're gonna do. There'll be no objection. So how do you overcome every objection? Be so freaking good, you don't even get them. Be so good that people can't even rebuttal anything. Be so good at the end when people normally give stalls because they're thinking about spending the money, that's because they get serious. Dude, your job is to keep them in a state where they don't get serious. That's your job. How you doing it? So if you wanna go from no to close, just skip the no. In a world full of people that don't keep their word anymore, that don't care and have no passion in what they do and they're just doing things as a job, that's not me. There's a string that goes to people's wallets that first has to go through their heart. There's a string, it goes to their heart and then it goes to their wallet. Now I'm not telling you to use their heart to get to their wallet, don't misunderstand me. I'm explaining to you that if you really are the best, why can't you lean in? Why, why not? Because you guys don't believe enough. Dude, there's a reason why I've been able to scale past anybody. I'm unreasonable. When somebody tells me no and I think it's the right thing, I'm gonna lean into what I believe in. If you're asking me about something and then I'm not really sure, and I'm like, yeah, well, maybe. You know, it's like, it's like I'm not sold. Someone has to be the sold one in the deal. Someone has to be sold. Who's sold? I'm sold. And by the way, it's my job to make him sold now. Your customer's always right. No matter what they say, hey, I totally understand, I completely agree. There can be a however coming behind it, but always agree with them. You guys wanna create friction in your deals? You want to? Disagree with them, I dare you. I hear a lot of salespeople, they know it all. They know it all. So what they wanna do is they want their customers to be aware that they know it all. So when a customer says something, well, I don't agree with that, I think this way. They're like, no, that's wrong. No, 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 no. It may be wrong, but always agree. There's a way to explain that. It's called being a master communicate. Communicate with them well that there's other ways to look at it. Listen, life is all about perspective. Maybe the way that they see it right now is from that angle. However, in a moment, when I explain it properly and communicate well, they'll see it from a different way. So don't tell them I disagree. I see a lot of salespeople do that. Don't ever disagree. Always agree and then be great at overcoming the objection. You guys want to make more money than you know what to do with? Ruin the value of money for people. Write it down. Ruin the value of money for people. How do you ruin the value of money for people? Well, there's two ways. Number one, you give them more than they expected you to give. How do you do that? You care about the client more than they care about themselves. Simply said, if Ryan cares about himself this much, I'm gonna care this much, I will out care him. And somewhere along the way, people somehow forget this. They forget it somewhere. They forget why we're doing it. They get used to their jobs. I wanna tell you guys something, the secret in life that I've learned, there's no greater feeling you'll ever get than knowing that you help someone have a better day. People don't have the courage anymore to be kind to people. People don't have the courage anymore to be different, stand out. They don't. You need to have a delusional belief. Everybody can buy, can to buy, and will buy as long as you do your fucking job. So the question is, are they gonna buy? That's not a question. Of course they're gonna fucking say yes. Of course we're gonna run their card. Of course we're gonna do business together. That's already been made up. Who made it up? Me. That's up to me. Some of you guys in here are hoping, 
Hope is good, but hope ain't gonna get you a 100% closing ratio. And some of you in here, you're like, did he say 100%? I know you don't think you can close 10 for 10. You're always thinking that only some of them are gonna buy instead of everyone buying. Dude, how stupid are you? Why did they fucking request information on what we have? Because they want help. But you don't think you can fucking help everybody? Yes or no? These two things, if you can get them right, you guys triple your sales today. Number one, out fucking care people more than they care about themselves. And you may say, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, that's your fucking problem. You should know. How about you start changing the way you speak and be like, I do fucking know. Dude, everybody that requests information, common sense says they want something. I've got a solution. I'm here to solve it. Our company solves shit. Second thing, belief, belief. Do you fucking believe that your company Yours, not the product you sell, your company fixes fucking people's problems, gives them the blueprint to get what they want. Yes or no? Whoever fucking believes the most in the room wins. That's the game.